second year in high school, the summer, the accident happened right in front of my eyes. I will never forget about the moment. Although I'm a lifesaver, I was unable to do anything for the little boy suffering in front of me. Just the feeling of regret came out from the bottom of my heart. What should I have done for him? I asked myself again and again. I have been taking part in life saving since I was seven years old. When I entered SSC in 2011, I began participating in competitions. Um, right now, I have a pretty busy life. From 5.30 in the morning, I practice with my teammates and then go to school. The reason why I have been continuing this crazy lifestyle is because life saving is not only about lacing, but there's a purpose to save one's life. I was able to continue life saving because of this spirit. In the summer of 2012, the accident happened while I was patrolling at the beach. In my head, I so understood the life saving is a sport which human lives are at risk. But the shock was big, and I just found myself standing still. Because I was taking life saving so seriously, I got frustrated to myself not being able to do anything. Was everything only for my self-satisfaction? Was it just me thinking that I was helping somebody? Many thoughts circle around in my head. A few days later, after taking my experience as a start, I began thinking about how I can reduce the number of water accidents. Then I went to World Life Saving Championship in November 2012 as a member of Japan national team. At the World Championship, oh, when I was chosen <laughs> as a member of the national team, I felt like the days I trained so hard and the perseverance I made were recognized by those around me. At the championship, I talked with other competitors from all around the world and also exchanged email addresses. The two weeks I spent in Australia was great experience for me. However, on the other hand, that accident, that accident never went away from my head. By talking with other competitors, I realized that Japanese people's awareness toward water safety is much lower than that of people in other countries. In Australia, for example, the children enjoy life saving in everyday life. It is like boys baseball team in Japan. Um, at the opening ceremony of the World Championship, I saw an extremely interesting scene. Many kids were waiting outside to take uh, on the street like this. Can you guess what they were doing? They were waiting to take a picture with famous lifesavers. Lifesavers? I, re I got really surprised. They treat lifesavers like a Hollywood stars. Compared to this in Japan, most of the people don't, un don't know what lifesavers are actually doing. And there is a water accident which happened because lifesaving is not widely known. For example, I will introduce one, exam one accident which I came across. On that day, there were several parents and children who were about five or six years old at the beach. The children were swimming in the water and the mothers were sitting and chatting. The first 10 to 15 minutes were just fine, but little by little, little by little, the current took kids off shore. The, when the mothers realized about that, it was too late, too late, and the kids were drowning. As fast as possible, I went to rescue children and brought them back to the beach. This accident wasn't fatal, but actually, these kind of water accidents happen um, in many places. And as a matter of fact, more than 1,400 accidents happen annually in Japan. 
Next, I want to introduce another example in which a person couldn't survive. On October 13th, about two months ago, the accidents happened. The father and his three sons went to fishing in Odawara port. While they were fishing, the youngest son, five years old, and the middle son, nine years old, accidentally fell into the water. The father jumped in and rescued his two boys. But after he made sure that his kids were safe, he got lost. When I heard about this news, I strongly felt, like deeply thought about the importance of self-rescue. If the two children had some knowledge about life-saving, they might have been able to do something by themselves. If the father knew how to rescue himself, the tragedy might not have happened. Their father might not have had to die. The water accidents take away one's life in an instant. As a result, parents and friends and those around that person will be in solo. Can you imagine? the moment of your father, mother, brother, and sister, and your friends suffered in water accidents? This can be happen to any one of you in this room. To reduce the number of water accidents, I strongly believe that it's important for us to learn how to rescue ourselves, how to protect ourselves. In some foreign countries, such as Australia and the United States, there are hands-on rescue program. In this program, people physically experience in ocean or in the pool, instead of just listening to the water, or listening in the classroom. Um, and listening to the classroom is just a boring thing, but by experience, experiencing in the real situation, people learn how to rescue ourselves. And it is very important that every one of us learn how to rescue ourselves. And this is the picture of the Leo program in Australia. Um, it is very difficult for every one of us now, it is very difficult for a person to change someone else's way of thinking. But it's easy for every one of us to change our own thought. And to change, and in this room, including public viewing, there are 200 people. If my TEDx speech was able to give some impact to the people in this room, the way 200 people think might change. Um, there, um, as I mentioned, the, this program, I want to, I'm still in the process of thinking, but I want to spread and alter this program into something so that it will adjust to our Japanese society. There are stereotypes, stereotypes, that lightsabers have a special techniques. But actually, that's not true. I won't make life saving into something that is familiar to the people and spread the idea of self rescue. I want the future leaders of Japan to know that we must save our lives by ourselves. I never want to see the moment of a child losing his or her life in water accidents anymore. Thank you.